Hello everybody, so Olympus have just released their new firmware for the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II and I am installing it right now um, The installing process is pretty simple First, you don't have to download the firmware, you just need to download the Olympus workspace and then just connect the camera through this uh, cable that come in the box of the camera with the camera and then you just simply put your camera on the M mode or any mode I think but let's say M mode and then open the um, the Olympus workspace and what you need, you need to do next is just to tweak the connection type on the camera uh, on storage mode you know on storage mode and then you need to just keep next follow the instruction and then you just hit here let me show you real quick um, if you have the Olympus workspace do I have it installed here no it doesn't it's not it's not here but what you need to do is just hit um, this uh, tab right here the camera and then click on update and if there is a new firmware and it will prompt you to add something neck 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 things like that and right now I am updating from my Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II version 3.2 and then now it is the version 3.4 all right so let's see what what's new what change and then I'll let you guys know when the process is complete so see you next all right guys so we have done that so let's see what firmware we are at right now go to your menu um, down here there you go this is the version firmware 3.4 the latest version of uh, this camera that Olympus provide before I am on um, 3.2 this is, this is 3.4 um, when it comes to changes I don't know <laughs> but I feel like the background the <coughs> gradient background of the menu system is look a bit nicer than before it dark before it's also dark but now I feel like there is it's hard to describe because I didn't pay attention on the previous version but I feel like this is a bit changed right now you know um, but other than that just the same there is nothing new there is nothing excited to talk about it's just a firmware update anyway well sometimes firmware update improve a lot you know maybe there is autofocus improvement and things like but <laughs> things like that. But in this case, Olympus does not mention anything related to the Olymp uh, to the autofocus performance. But I'm telling you, this camera is already very good in terms of continue AF in video. It never hun things like that like uh, the old, no like the Panasonic does. You know, almost like Canon or Sony. It's very good. The only thing that I feel a very annoying no not just not not that annoying <laughs> I mean is the image quality you know it's sharp straight out of the box but I really difficult to get it right you know the color sometimes is look a bit weird in my opinion maybe that because of my lighting condition but when I own my Canon it's just very easy for me to set it up I have just very normal light you know it just get the color right I like it but this camera I've been tweak I've been play around with it with the picture profile you know even I turn the picture mode on things like that uh, I never get the color right and always it over exposed my face a little bit you know even I try well, the base ISO is 200. I cannot go lower than that, except on video mode. Uh, sorry, except on photo mode, I think. But for video mode, the ISO is fixed. You know, not fixed, but start from 100. 
as you can see right here i cannot go lower than that and yeah um it's okay you know from the looks and feel of the camera it's beautiful i love it i'm just I'm just so happy and it has dual cards a lot here and it got a lot of uh, button and dial and yeah it's just a very nice camera and it look good it has high access mx stabilization and it works very well so very good if you are doing vlogging things like that it's good i mean because this right now cost me 700 dollars for the body alone yep body alone but it is used product anyway in my country it's very expensive for the Olympus camera you know um, uh, from the Olympus website they discount they said it costs cheaper but now <laughs> it's still around that you know for some kind of gray market things like that but this is used one I got deal with a guy on Facebook because I need to get rid of my Canon ATD um, and I replaced with this Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II. The reason why is because I need 4K. I don't really need the IBIS because I only do do studio video. It's always should yeah, sit on a tripod. So people said that Olympus have great camera because I watch the Olympus channel you know Olympus fanboy or something like that they said oh this is good this is good you know? <laughs> but um, I was wrong because I bought it because I believe uh, Olympus man you know who the guy who talk every time about Olympus let's say Olympus fanboy <laughs> so my message is is if you want to buy a camera do not avoid uh, people from Olympus do not avoid people from Canon. Do not avoid people from Nikon. Uh, let's say if you want to buy a Canon, you need to buy a guy who review a camera. Don't buy a don't avoid a guy review camera that work for Canon. The, they never tell you the bad thing about that camera. They always, you know, say this is the best. This is the best things like that. Same thing with the Olympus. Do not avoid a guy from Olympus if you want to buy a Olympus camera you know because they never never mention about the negative thing about this camera they always say that this is the best camera this is the best camera you know try to watch some guy maybe yeah a lot of them out there I think maybe from mm, I forgot you know the, a million youtubers big channel that like I forgot you gotta let me know <laughs> right so that's it you know I'm very happy with the looks and feel of the camera and I very um, happy with the price of course because my Canon ATD the ATD is very old and it's a lot of function that doesn't work on that previous camera you know such as flash is already dead as well my Canon ATD and I drop it on the water you know Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I found a way and I trade with him. I just add him a little bit and he paid for me for that camera. Maybe <laughs> 500 US dollars for the Canon ADD with the kit. No, with the 50 millimeter f1.8. Then I got this one, you know, and this is 700. So I add him to two more hundred dollars. So two more hundred dollars, get rid of my ADD and then get the Panasonic, uh, why I keep saying Panasonic, uh, get the Olympus O on the M1 Mark II, just the body alone. And then I got the 25 millimeters at 1.8 for 180 US dollars. You know, this is the camera that I use right now. What do you think? Is this a good deal? You, you got any idea about how to set your Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II for video? For me, I'm happy with the autofocus, but I'm just not happy with the looks and feel, uh, with the look of the video, you know. Um, the video comes out, it's sharp, it's detailed, but the, the color, not my preference, you know, not my, not my, <laughs> not my favorite. 
you know, I try to tweak it many many days, but I still cannot figure out which the right setting to use for video in terms of picture mode, white balance, things like that. It's it's it it's difficult. I mean, I need to learn um, later, uh, learn more about it later. Okay, so hope you guys enjoy it. So that's it for this video, guy. So I will give you an update on this camera later. So bye now.